What well, started me to get this petition is a lot of the public nuisance and the loitering and a lot of traffic through the town of Valley Brook is trying to eliminate that because it's really bad on my behalf to see them all hours of the night coming out here and hanging out and breaking in the houses. Uh, just stay in the creeks here in Valley Brook. That's what they posted up at nights. The other trailer park across Eastern, they're hanging out there. That's what they're staying at behind the gas station. I don't remember what it's called. And then they go to this coffee shop called Joe Addictions, hang out there all day long, loitered there, uh, loitered in front of the store. They're, people won't here in Valley Brook don't want to go to the store here anymore because they're always asking for money or messing with the females that come in there. You know, they're just tired of it. Uh, we have people from the neighborhood that come in from all around the, uh, this neighborhood, both that live in Valley Brook and down the street in trailer parks, and some of those are sex offenders that come in. That's what they're um, upset about, I guess. And um, the complaint is that I allow the sex offenders to hang out there. Um, but my position really is that we allow anyone who wants to hang out there, uh, not just to drink coffee, but if people are in need of help in some way. Uh, we have the, a food pantry that we provide on Saturdays for groceries. We have the free store for physical needs that people might have. Um, so we don't discriminate on anyone who's in need. Well, see, sometimes you can catch them going down the street, you know, ejaculating and stuff. I've seen that happen, and also there's a guy over here that uh, raped my daughter about 15 years ago and I don't want him that close to me so I hadn't seen his face out here but he did write my girl a letter for Christmas letter and I uh, wish her happy Christmas and she's 32 years old now and she like screamed her head off and didn't know what to do come over and told her mama we found out he's right over here and uh, she won't even go around and pay the water bill over there because of uh, him staying over there. I, I don't know anything at all about uh, the situation that they're talking about of someone masturbating uh, outside. I've not seen anything like that. We haven't had any problems with that uh, with any of the folks that hang out there at the coffee shop. Um, they are just like any of the other folks that we're helping. Some of them are, are homeless, some of them uh, are drug addicts or alcoholics. We offer AA meetings and NA meetings that meet regularly every week. and So some of them take advantage of those things just like others in the neighborhood do. But I'm unaware of any, any sexual problems that have happened um, from the folks that hang out there. I'm hoping for the town of Ballybrook that's in the just support me on the back on this with the signatures. We're trying to go in and remove, not remove, but we're not to renew their license. And ask, we're asking them to step outside of Valley Brook with their business, relocate somewhere else instead of inside of Valley Brook. We would love to stay here. That's why we came here. Is we'd love to be a, really our goal is to be a blessing to the neighborhood, and uh, and so we really would love to continue to stay here. I understand their discussing not renewing our business license, but it's our hope that we can maybe work together with the city and, and figure out a way to go forward where we can continue to, to be a business and a, a help to the people in this neighborhood.